Sam Bengman Fright was sentenced to 25 years in prison by a judge on Thursday, March 28, for stealing 8 billion US dollars from customers of the now bankrupt FTX cryptocurrency exchange he founded. The last step in the former billionaire Wunder Keynes dramatic downfall. U.S. District Judge Louis Kaplan handed down the sentence at a Manhattan court hearing after rejecting Bankman Fright's claim that FTX customers did not actually lose money and accusing him of lying during his trial testimony. A jury found Bankman Fright, 32, guilty on November 2 on seven fraud and conspiracy counts stemming from FTX's 2022 collapse in what prosecutors have called one of the biggest financial frauds in U.S. history. Leading global institutional investors like BlackRock, Sequoia and Singapore state investment firm Temasek were caught up in the demise of FTX, with the latter writing down its entire investment. Kaplan said Bankman Fried had shown no remorse. He knew it was wrong, Kaplan said of Bankman Fried before handing down the sentence. He knew it was criminal. He regrets that he made a very bad bet about the likelihood of getting caught. But he is not going to admit a thing, as is his right. Bankman Fright stood with his hands clasped before him as Kaplan read the sentence. He was led out of the courtroom by members of the U.S. Marshal Service when the hearing ended. Bankman Fright, wearing a beige short sleeve jail t shirt, acknowledged during 20 minutes of remarks to the judge that FTX customers had suffered and he offered an apology to his former FTX colleagues. The sentence marked the culmination of Bankman Fright's plunge from an ultra wealthy entrepreneur and major political donor to the biggest trophy to date in a crackdown by US authorities on malfeasance in cryptocurrency markets. Bankman Fright has vowed to appeal his conviction and sentence. Kaplan said he had found that FTX customers lost $8 billion US dollars, FTX's equity investors lost $1.7 billion US dollars, and that lenders to the Alameda Research H fund Bankman Fright found it lost $1 US dollar. $3 billion. The defendant's assertion that FTX customers and creditors will be paid in full is misleading, it is logically flawed, it is speculative, Kaplan said. A thief who takes his loot to Las Vegas and successfully bets the stolen money is not entitled to a discount on the sentence by using his Las Vegas winnings to pay back what he stole. The judge also said Bankman Fright lied during his trial testimony when he said he did not know that his hedge fund had spent customer deposits taken from FTX. Federal prosecutors had sought a prison sentence of 40 to 50 years. Bankman Fright's defense lawyer Mark Mukasey had argued that a sentence of less than five and a quarter years would be appropriate. Addressing the judge, Bankman Fright said, customers have been suffering. I didn't at all mean to minimize that. I also think that's something that was missing from what I've said over the course of this process, and I'm sorry for that. Referring to his FTX colleagues, Bankman Fright told the judge, they put a lot of themselves into it, and I threw that all away. It haunts me every day. Three of his former close associates testified as prosecution witnesses at trial that he had directed them to use FTX customer funds to plug losses at Alameda Research. Nicholas Roos, a prosecutor with the U.S. Attorney's Office in Manhattan, told the judge, the criminality here is massive in scale. It was pervasive in all aspects of the business. During the hearing, Mukasey sought to distance his client from notorious fraudsters, like Bernie Madoff. Sam was not a ruthless financial serial killer who set out every morning to hurt people. Mukasey said, describing his client as an awkward math nerd who worked hard to get customers their money back after FTX's collapse. Sam Bangman Fright doesn't make decisions with malice in his heart. Mukasey added, He makes decisions with math in his head. 
Bangman Fright testified in his own defense that he made mistakes such as not implementing a risk management team, but denied he intended to defraud anyone or steal customers' money. His parents, Stanford University law professors Joseph Bankman and Barbara Fright, attended the sentencing. A Massachusetts Institute of Technology graduate, Bangman Fright, wrote a boom in the values of Bitcoin and other digital assets to a net worth of $26 billion U.S. dollars. According to Forbes magazine, before he turned 30, Bankman Fright became known for his mop of unkempt curly hair and commitment to a movement known as effective altruism, which encourages talented young people to focus on earning money and giving it away to worthy causes. He also was one of the biggest contributors to Democratic candidates and political causes ahead of the 2022 U.S. midterm elections. But prosecutors have said the responsible image he cultivated concealed his years-long embezzlement of customer funds. Bankman Fright has been detained at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn since August 2023, when Kaplan revoked his bail after finding he likely tampered with witnesses at least twice.